Did a Chicago man lose his penis after peeing outside in the freezing winter temperatures currently gripping the city? No, that's not true. The story was made up by a Fox Dyer website for entertainment purposes, although we still wouldn't recommend trying to pee outside in this weather. The story originated from an article published by Hustlers on February 1, 2019 titled, Chicago Man Loses His Penis to Frostbite After Peeing Outside, which opened. Quote, Chicago, the bitter cold in Chicago has kept hospitals busy, with doctors at one facility during the brunt of an Arctic freeze treating 50 frostbite victims, including one man who lost his penis to frostbite after peeing outside. It's a horrific situation, says Dr. Stathis Pulakitas, the head of burn and wound care services at Cook County Health. End quote. Users on social media only saw this title, description and thumbnail so they would not have seen it did not come from a real news website. Quote, Chicago man loses his penis to frostbite after peeing outside Chicago, the bitter cold in Chicago has kept hospitals busy, with doctors at one facility during the brunt of an Arctic freeze treating 50 frostbite victims, including one man who lost his penis to frostbite after peeing outside. It's a horrific situation, says Dr. Stathis Pulakitas, the head of burn and wound care services, end quote. The image used to illustrate the story did come from an actual news report about a victim of the cold weather but he suffered a heart attack and froze completely. Quote, man found dead, frozen in garage after shoveling snow Milwaukee, Wisconsin, CBS local, a circumflex euro, people across the country are dealing with record-breaking cold and the frigid temperatures have already been linked to multiple deaths. In Milwaukee, a man was found dead Tuesday in the garage of a home and apparently collapsed after shoveling snow, authorities said. End quote. The quote from the doctor is also real but it is lifted from another story which seems to have served as the inspiration for the hoax. Quote, frostbite victims to lose limbs in Chicago The bitter cold in Chicago has kept hospitals busy, with doctors at one facility during the brunt of an Arctic freeze treating 50 frostbite victims, including some people who may lose an arm or a leg. It's a horrific situation, says Dr. Stathis Pulakitas, the head of burn and wound care services at Cook County Health. End quote. Hustlers styles itself as a Fox Dyer website and carries a disclaimer at the bottom of each page. Quote, Hustlers.com is the most infamous Fox Dyer and AMP, satire entertainment website in the world. If it's trending on social media you'll find it here. End quote. According to Splinter News the site is run by Pablo Reyes and David Martinez and according to BuzzFeed Reyes is involved with several other fake news websites. They tend to shy away from political stories, opting instead to write for a more urban audience, with stories about rappers, criminals and celebrities. NewsGuard, a company that uses trained journalists to rank the reliability of websites, describes Hustlers.com as quote, a self-described satire website that publishes false stories on urban culture and celebrities that have often been mistaken for real news. End quote. According to NewsGuard the site does not maintain basic standards of accuracy and accountability. Read their full assessment here. We wrote about Hustlers.com before, here are our most recent articles that mention the site. Fake news, Covington Catholic teen Nicholas Sandman not hospitalized after being jumped in a mall. Fake news, Kylie Jenner's ex Tyga is not the face behind the famous egg Instagram account. Fake news, to catch a predator, host Chris Hansen not arrested after meeting up with 13-year-old girl. Fake news, vet who organized GoFundMe for Trump border wall buys new Ferrari and mansion in Mexico as gonna build the wall himself. Fake news, R. Kelly did not visit Bill Cosby in prison for advice.